This is a review of Balmain's Spring 2023 show. Before I begin the review, I want to give a little background of Balmain. Um, so the brand was started by Pierre Balmain in 1945. Um, currently, the creative director is Olivier Rosting. Um, he started uh, at 25 as the creative director back in 2011. Um, so with that said, I am looking forward to reviewing the show. So let's begin. Okay. Okay, these two first looks um, they are very reminiscent, I can't help it, of um, Iris Van Herpen. <laughs> the silhouettes, the design details, um, yeah. Interesting two looks. I wonder if it's also um, 3D printing in this or if it's fabric cut into I almost want to pinch the shoulders a little bit but I feel like that's the brand aesthetics the wide shoulders I feel like this big shoulder is very reminiscent of the previous creative director um, who I just remember famously like he had that military jacket which I really wanted at that time because um, I kind of outgrew the, the one I already have from another designer but these looks <laughs> I cannot help but think that the, these few first few pieces they're definitely designed for museum pieces. <clears throat> I don't know how wearable it, but there's elements that you could take away from it. Like there's the mesh. Um, I see there's like platforms are being presented. It seems like <laughs> It's not that walkable in, so I'm kind of curious if that's if these are just first sample protos. Okay, so we're getting like more wearable looks. I wonder if the presentation of men's and women's wear, if because I do see the styles being very wearable, both for men and women. That's an interesting vest hoodie. I feel like that's like a very um, great accent piece. I do like that design. So I, <clears throat> I do see a lot of um, Olivier's design um, aesthetic, like mixing up, you know, like the T-shirt with something structured. I feel like that's a very him aesthetic in his design. I find like a lot of his designs, um, they are kind of contorting the the natural body shapes, um, like proportions. A lot. I see a lot of that in his design. Um, and I'm trying to figure out like, I understand the styling, it's for editorials and 
and stuff like that, it's really good. Um, I'm just thinking like of the practical way of, you know, if someone buys a piece, like how often are they wear, able to wear it and how they are going to incorporate it into the style. kind of has that um, dapper shaping around the hip with the bustle kind of like full hip shaping but I wonder how many women are really gonna wear it you know and have it look flattering you know I'm just trying to imagine my mind if I was styling someone you know how I would do it. That style on the plus size model, I don't think proportionally it's very flattering. I think that where it's hitting at the bus, it's just almost like flattening it. You know, I think, again, I almost feel like, like, like men designers don't consider you know, the women's body when they design and sometimes like it's kind of distorting it like it's making the natural women's body, you know, um, like contorted and very unflattering visually instead of celebrating like all the <clears throat> curves and, and lines of a woman's natural shape because I don't imagine anyone want to wear a corset that cuts right into the, the center of their bust you know, I mean, if you have um, a chest, you know how uncomfortable it is if you have to wear it like that all day. Like, I see design elements, which is not that unique. I just think the body proportions are just off. Um, and this is the one thing that I have seen multiple times in his in Olivia Rosen's collections which I don't like because I like the design and all the creative you know um design details in the designs I just have an issue with the proportions that's my my biggest issue with his design and sometimes the finishing is just not the way it should be it's kind of looking a little bit of a like it's rush it's not finished properly and he does have access to really like you know um people who have like good skills so i just don't understand like why it isn't finished you know properly because sometimes like i see like the zipper is kind of buckling or rippling sometimes i'm just like that is just to me I've been taught that that's like a bad sewing thing. Either you didn't pull it right or the zipper is um, not set in right. And then there's other things I, I see also. Um, and I would like to say that it's a styling choice sometimes, but in this case, you know, um, I don't think it is. I just think it's kind of like not properly fitted garment. Because that's the thing that we would drill on, you know, incessantly, you know, when we were in school. And also, um, things that we have, I mean, throughout my career, when I have gone through fittings, you know, um, on fit models, like things that we have to correct and, and do to fit, you know. And I sometimes think, like, um, I don't know if he has enough experience doing like the technical fit and have him properly trained because I think like he um, was named the creative director very, very young and I don't know you know in his realm of all the stuff that he's done and his you know being who he is if he has enough time to kind of hone in some of the finer refined finishes and craftsmanship and understanding like how to fit against the body you know and whatnot um, 
but also kind of am curious to see if they have a technical design team or product development team to kind of fine tune in the casting or not because I feel like it's almost there sometimes I just feel like the proportions again it's Like personally, I just think, you know, um, a lot of times when people complain about fits, I see a lot of that in, in his shows and I'm just like, <sighs> I want to go there and just like pin, pick it up here, just pinch it out there, to do the fine tailoring, you know, the fine finishing. Because it's, ne it's not necessarily that the styles aren't wearable, it's just the fit is off, you know, and it's not even that the designs aren't good, because they are, you know, um, but I just think that it's the fine finishings that, you know, you expect from a brand at this level. Because this kind of fit, you know, from, you know, Balmain, it's almost comparable to sometimes, you know, when I am consulting with, you know, new emerging designers and what the issues are in doing the fits. I see a lot of the same um, mistakes happening, you know. That braiding. <laughs> It could be better. <laughs> I don't know if the intent is to make it look like you're not finished. You see like the zipper? You see the leg how it was rippling? Again like the fit is so bad like that bra top was falling off her bust that you could see her nipple you know? This is not what I expect. Again, these straps, why are they so loose on the model? These are the things that I see that, you know, for a brand at this level, it drives it bananas because just getting the casting fit, you know, at this high tier, it would make it so much better, you know. My expectation is if you're going to shell out this kind of money, it should not be so poor fitting. And if it's going to be like that, you have a budget that you could hire the, the model, a better model to fit the garment if you don't want to fix the fit. Ah, <laughs> oh, just, I don't know. This is always my disappointment with, with Olivia Rosen's um, shows. It's just the fit, you know, and you know that I'm a stickler for that kind of stuff. It's all I talk about. Model stepping on the, the the fringe straps. I like the watercolor, you know, effect on the prints, you know. So again, like the fit is off. Okay, so when I reviewed, you know, the other collection, when I talked about, you know, the print, you know, it doesn't look stretched, and you see a lot of these. Um, like dresses, the prints are printed on this jersey. You can see uh, sometimes the model, like it's pulled, it's stretched. The print itself is distorted. And it shouldn't be like that. You know, <sighs> I really want to be kind, but uh, it's just driving bananas. Like, how it's too tight, like it's, it's bunching. If I was to give fit notes, you know, on this, I mean, <laughs> pages. I know, you know, 
because it's the label of Armand, it's gonna sell, but I really wish, you know, like, overall fit is just better. Like, the way the, the, the snit, the, it's buckling, it's distorting the print, it does not look good, you know. Um, I just want to know who the pattern maker is. Who is the who is doing the fitting? Uh, ha has it been fitted in the casting? You see how when she, the place that she's holding her waist, her finger and her thumb, you see that like buckling, that puckering kind of collapsing like across. I know that's a fit issue, you know. Um, <sighs> this top. In this model actually it fits really good um the fact that it's like you can see the shape of the bus the way that it's holding up the sleeve it's not falling down like that's something that i want to see in all the outfits So whereas the print, printed jersey, you know, is too tight, that jersey dress is not tight enough. It's just too loose, which is why when you see the drapes, it's not falling like the way it should. You know, it's not falling prettily. See, the braiding and the skirt is so much better than the one I told you earlier. Also, that print is not covering enough. I'm hoping that <laughs> all the stuff that I'm seeing that it's a fit issue will get corrected before you know um, it goes to the production. That leather um, top, it's almost there. It's actually a good fit. It's just thing like it's um, the way it's set in. There's a way of setting it in that could be tighter. I don't know. Like maybe because I've seen so much, so many collections I just, of his that I see, had seen issues with. Because um, even like when he did the um, collaboration, the when he did the one for John Gaultier, there was also a lot of fit issues and, and, and stuff like that. Like it was not refined, you know. Like it wasn't the fact that it was lacking design, you know, because it was there. It was the execution. It's always the execution of his collections that I always have issue with. You know, I don't have any issue with his design because the designs itself is amazing, you know, but it's just always a fit. It's always like it's missing. It just feels like it's rush. It feels like it's not properly fitted, or they didn't care about the fit, you know, and they're presenting the runway. Because if it was a newer brand or a known brand, you know, um, it wouldn't really survive and sell, you know. Um, there would be a lot of issues and returns. But because it's Balmain, that I think that the, you know, um, there's allowances that people will be more forgiving. Again, like the cup over here on the top, I almost want to just like take it in a little bit so it just 
be a, a lot more flattering onto the bust shape. Because no one wants to have like winged out, you know, bust on the side like this. See? This is so much better than the fit. The braiding is better. Just like... And I can't even fault that it's, it's it, only to the to the women designs because I also see it in the men's design also. So it's all across both um, men and women's wear in this collection that isn't fitted properly. And when you see it fit properly, you can see. I don't know, like if you work in fashion and you have you know some kind of training. You can see all the faults I'm saying, you know, um, I think a lot of people can see, you know, from the fashion industry, the same thing I can see. The way it's executed is not right. It's a fit issue. The straps on this cow neck, it needs to be moved in a little bit more because you can see her nipples are kind of popping out. These are the little things that, you know, I wish really fashion critics would write about this instead of always just saying, you know, um, the nice things, you know, and not helping correct the, the problem because I'm sure they have thoughts, but again, it's a game like you cannot say and disparage the line if you want to be invited back to the show it's like an unspoken rule kind of thing There are a lot of looks in this. I wonder how many of these styles are show pieces and how many of them are actually being produced, you know, for sale. Because it's a large collection. I, I mean, it's, it's the, one of the biggest I've seen. Um, and there is a lot of design you know, present it. Even though it's different looks, it's a lot, like... You have this weaving, um, you have the braiding, you have um, the fir those first few looks where it looks like I said, like um, ir Iris Ben Herpin's um, dresses. Fringe again. Mm -hmm. 
So again, I don't think that was properly. Okay. When I did um, a review of the other show where they had um, the model like do a walk, so kind of scene, and usually like um, if you do a casting, this way you can kind of see if you need to shorten, you know, anything, or you need to change any anything for the runway runway presentation. I feel like a lot of it isn't, and that's why the models are picking up a lot of the the hemlines as they're walking. I don't know, like I've done two I've done a lot of um you know shows and doing corrections and, and samples and product development, all this stuff. So I you know know that what you need to do, um, I feel like it wasn't done based on what I'm seeing. Like I feel like these are kinda rookie mistakes. Um, which shouldn't happen, you know, for a brand like Balmain. Um, I don't know, you know, if you can speak against, you know, the creative director or say anything, you know, um, because sometimes, you know, um, yeah, I've been with um, designers who, like, they respect my, you know, opinion about, you know, what to do. Um, the fits in the casting and some people don't take it very well um, so you kind of have to tread lightly but usually like if I know there's an issue um, sometimes like I'll just go and fix it because I know that overall when I work I want the, the, the designer to succeed or the brand that I'm working for to succeed because it impacts like my um, um, standing in the company, right? The longevity of the company, if it survive, like, you know, things like that. So I care about those things. And <laughs> but it's also very difficult because, um, again, like, you cannot step on toes. Like, the fact that, you know, the garment is moving, you know, like, shuffling to the model's body <laughs> like I have an issue with that because again there's a way to fit it that it doesn't shift like that because it's almost like you're wearing a barrel and it's just shifting you know as you're wearing it again the runway should be the best representation of your clothes your design you know and people who know fashion and know fit, like, again, they can see and spot all the things that I'm calling out. Because I think, again, I would like to see his design sketches and stuff like that because I think that, um, I'm sure, like, they're stunning because the designs, I can see the potential. Again, I see, like, a lot of potential. You know, if it was executed right, how good it could be. And when it's a when it's not perf perfected, also I can see the issue. Yes, I like share. I don't know what else to say, I think like, it's share. Okay, I think that's a wrap. I really like the collection in terms of the design. Um, again, my only issue is always the fit. And it's not his first collection that I have an issue with the fit. Um, and you know that I always constantly incessantly talk about fit and proportions, you know. So if is it flattering, then it's a hard sell for me to appreciate it. Um, with that said, I um, do kind of want to see, you know, how stylists are pulling it and what it would look like and stuff like that. Um, you know, 
again, maybe in the styling, like it would look really cool. Just I've seen other, you know, um, stylists pulling it and um, showing it and stuff like that, and always it's presented in a very cool way. But it's also presented in a way that you don't really see the fit so much. But I would like to see it in the red carpet, you know, people wearing it about, so I can really get, you know, a sense of how it really fits in the final stage after it's done in production, you know, and you buy it, you know, does it, you know, really fit really well because it's a successful brand, so I can't imagine it not, you know, being, like, properly fitted, um, and I don't know if it's just the fact that it's such a huge collection and that's why it wasn't fitted properly, um, I'd be very interested to know, but I have no way of knowing um, since I don't know anyone from the brands I can't really get a sense of um, the machinations of how the brand works when they are um, making samples for the show so yeah anyway um, I would like to see it at the store I, I don't know what store carries it um, I have not been out really shopping you know except for um, the shopping guys that I do and you know the department stores they're limited to the designers that they carry so um, who knows maybe I will get lucky and find a store here in New York City that carries it anyway that wraps it up if you want to see an in-depth review of the looks and how to style it please join my patreon for the full fashion review of this show and many more from the spring 2023 runways I hope you like this video give a thumbs up if you did Please leave a comment below if you have any questions and please subscribe and help me grow this channel. Thank you. Bye.